Hello, Dr. Keith Smith with you once again for the Free Market Medical Association. I'm coming to you from the Surgery Center of Oklahoma. Thank you for joining us in this video blog series. My great uncle was a man named Walter Bays. He was a physician in a town called Chickasha, uh, just south of Oklahoma City, and was the only physician in that uh, town for many years. He was a great man, and he knew how to price his services. Sometimes people paid him in cash, sometimes they paid him in livestock, but Dr. Bays knew how to price his services. All physicians knew how to price their services before the great disruptor uh, came along, that being the federal government's involvement in this, uh, in this industry. Dr. Bays' home was also the hospital. The upstairs was his home, the downstairs was the hospital. When his practice grew large, he built a hospital, and everybody in Chickasha knew where Bay's Hospital was. When the Hill-Burton Act passed and all the community government hospitals uh, metastasized all over the United States, many people in Chickasha defiantly called the new community government hospital Bay's Hospital. Uh, this act of defiance was not lost uh, on many people in the community. He knew how to price his hospital, his hospital services and his physician services, and he did so regularly. Uh, when Medicare and Medicaid came along, uh, after all the community hospitals showed up, and, and I believe Medicare and Medicaid came along after, afterwards to feed these beasts, uh, because any government entity uh, can't slake its thirst for cash uh, with any amount of cash. So they, they wanted to plug directly into the taxpayer trough. And when these uh, institutions, Medicare and Medicaid, came along, it destroyed uh, rational pricing. It's never been the same. Until now, this free market medical movement is really nothing new after all. It's a throwback. It's a throwback to the days of my great uncle Bayes when people said, here's what I do and here's how much it is. It is still possible. Uh, there are people who don't believe it is, but they are typically people who benefit from the lie of its impossibility. I was on the phone the other day with the director of human resources for a large company, and she told me that she really liked what we were doing at the Surgery Center of Oklahoma and all these free market prices that are coming out all over the country, but after all, their PPO and their carrier network gave them such great discounts. After all, they could get them 40% off. I laughed and told her the story about my friend Corey Cook, the ERISA lawyer, who asks audience this is, audiences this regularly. I would like to sell you my house for 40% off. And when the confused looks happen, happen in the audience, she says, okay, make that 50% off. This is exactly how health care is priced in this country today. Of course, she never reveals 50% off of what, but that's the game. Whenever the carriers walk into a hospital or any other place to negotiate a discount, as soon as they walk out, the hospital basically uh, adjusts their charge master rate so that whatever that discount is, they still wind up getting whatever they want. That's the insanity of healthcare pricing in this country. The exciting thing is that that's all changing. More and more people are seeing this as ludicrous and are being honest in their pricing and it's spreading all over the country. Transparent, honest, and direct pricing is possible. My great uncle Walter Bays did it. We can all do it. And it is so gratifying to see so many physicians and facilities in the United States embracing the wisdom of the free market and of this transparent pricing concept. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.